to that. Today I'm talking Fiber One Protein. Just, and I always like to say this, we don't have a protein problem in this country. We have a nutrient problem. Stop going after these protein bars. Stop drinking protein shakes. If you are working out hard, I mean hard, lifting heavy weights, have a good quality protein shake. Other than that, we don't need that excess protein. Now here, I was thinking it's gonna have a lot of protein, right? It says protein. When you look at the label, it has six grams of protein. That is equivalent of one egg. One egg, people. I don't even know why it says protein. What's most disturbing is the amount of ingredients that it has. It is overly, overly, overly processed. And when you look at the stuff, so I'm just gonna give you a couple. Soy, I try to avoid soy. Okay, I have thyroid issues. It's one of the things that my doctor told me to avoid. Mono and diglycerides. FDA said that they're trying to remove partially hydrogenated oils from the foods. What do companies do? They look for other cheap alternatives. And now you're gonna start seeing mono and diglycerides. That's really popular. It has trans fat. We know that that causes increase in cholesterol levels, okay? So look for those ingredients. As you keep going, carrageenan, which I found surprising. That is a natural product because it comes from seaweed, but what we know is it causes gastrointestinal issues. Please avoid that. Uh, look for it, especially in almond milk. Lastly, caramel coloring. And here's the thing with caramel coloring. It's not your typical caramel coloring that you would do at home. There's four types. Two of the types has a chemical reaction that has uh, a carcinogen. We don't know which type of caramel coloring they're using. So overall, caramel coloring is one of those ingredients that I try to avoid. So that is my review for Fiber One. Not a good product, skip it.